What is going on guys? My name is Fusions and today we're going to be opening up this new Bakugan Diorgan Rising Delmark Ultra starter pack. So let's get started guys. All right guys, so before we get started with the starter pack, I just want to let you guys know that I took a little break uh, from videos. I took a little vacation, but now we're back. We're coming back with lots of new Bakugan like this one. This starter pack is one of the newest ones that have come out. Um, not a lot of people have found it, but they're starting to roll out. So that's really good. Also, we did hit 1600 subscribers. So thank you guys so much for that. Uh, I'm planning to do maybe a little giveaway for you guys. So stay tuned. And if you're not subscribed, uh, subscribe so you don't miss that. But now let's get started with this starter pack. We got Demork Ultra. That's a new Bakugan, Crystillion, and Pintator. So uh, two new Bakugan and then another uh, Bakugan that we haven't seen. I don't think we've seen uh, a Pyrus Pentator before, but here it is. Crystillion is the one that I was looking for. Um, I just think it looks kind of cool. So we're going to take a look at it up close. And then we got Demork Ultra, of course. Um, looks pretty pretty sick up there. And then Pentator, we already like that one. I really like the uh, Bakugan. We got three character cards, three action cards, only one gate card, and six uh, Baku cores. So... Let's open this up. Let's take a look at everything up close and uh, let's see. Let's see if these Bakugan are good. All right. So yeah, and I also have the other starter pack as you guys can see from the background. There's another one there. So I can't wait. Lots of new uh, Bakugan content, new stuff coming up. So stay tuned. All right, so first we're gonna take a look at this little bag which has all the action cards, character cards and the Baku course and also the one gate card. So first, let's see, what do we have? We got a how to play guide. We don't need that right now. We also do have a how to close demo work. And then we have the most updated list of uh, Bakugan in Diogon Rising. So pretty cool. I need to find the Farascal starter pack. I don't think I've found that one yet. And then uh, I'm not sure if there's any other new stuff here. Um, I mean, we already know most of the stuff, but pretty cool. Another more uh, updated list. We do have, uh, let me take out the um, character cards. We'll take a look at those later. We have the uh, gate card. This is actually gate card number one. Probably my favorite just because of uh, who's in the gate card. My favorite Bakugan. Of course, Fangzor X Mantanoid there. Pretty cool. I like it. And then here we have three action cards from Secrets of the Geogon. Searing Ventasun. All right. I'm pretty sure we've seen that one. We got flash attack very cool with three bakugan in the card i'm not sure if i've seen this one before so that might be a new one and then we have searing strike we've seen this one lots of times so three um, nice um action cards but here we have the cores now let's see what kind of cores come inside this starter pack we got a uh, flame fist to start off plus six attack i think that's the most the best uh flame fist for attack we got a nice shield right here. We got uh, Pyrus and Ventus get plus 400. Probably one of the best shields. We got another uh, plus 400 uh, shield, but for Aquos and Pyrus, another one of the best shields in my opinion. Here we have a minus 300B. I don't use traps, so I don't like that one. Plus 300B, all right? That's uh, pretty nice. And then we have the best, I would say, uh, Flame Fist. Plus 250B and plus three attacks. So you get the most out of the this Flame Fist with B power and attack. So that's pretty nice. But now let's take out the Bakugan. So first, here we have uh, Pentator. Then we got Crystillion right here. Very, very cool. And then we got the last one, the Ultra. Uh, let me cut this, set him free. There he is, Demork. And it looks really cool off the bat. But we're going to take a look at it up close um, in a little bit. First, we're going to take a look at. Ooh, OK, so we're taking a look at Pentator here. Double Flame Fist. The art looks amazing. He's like playing with fire there. Very, very cool. 400 B power, six attack. And you get the reroll um, ability there. So very nice. If you miss a roll with it, you can reroll it once per turn, which is nice. But he does have a really good ability. Look at that. Flame Fist, you get plus 300B and three attack as well. So so let's say you land on this one right here. You're going to be crazy good with attack. 
So you're going to land on a plus six. He already has six, so that's 12. And then plus the uh, three there. So that's 15 attack for landing on a flame fist. That, that That's crazy. Yeah, this is going to be a really, really good Bakugan. It's going to be probably a staple in all of um, damage decks. So I'm glad that there's you know more support for those damage decks i i actually want to build one myself i've never played with a damage deck but uh, you know i'm gonna be using pentator for sure on that one so that's pretty cool I, I like that already um we're gonna put that core right there because we are gonna roll this pentator and we're gonna take a look at it up close here it is closed up you can tell it's pentator by that uh the top part there all right so let's roll it onto this core three two one bro and there it is there it is very cool i've already said it before i really like pentator it's a very cool crab because it is a crab and then it has these manual parts where you can take out the legs right here these two legs on on the bottom let me see if i can get the other one there we go and then of course the little tail as well this one's the hard one to take out you gotta have like there we go so you could take out the the little tail right there in the back and then the two feet and it looks very very cool i like this bakugan i like the stats definitely gonna be using this one and it's probably the strongest um damage bakugan probably so it's gonna be a good one so pentator looks really really good but now we're gonna move on to the second one here we have crystillion yes this is the one that i was looking uh, for um, just the Bakugan itself, not the Ventus specifically, but just, I think the Bakugan looks kind of cool. And we're going to take a look at it up close right now. So here it is. We got double shield for the Ventus one, 200 B power, five attack, uh, 200 B power is a little low, but it does have an ability. If you land on a uh, shield, you get plus 500 and five attack as well. So let's say you land on a 400 B power shield. Then you get to go all the way to 1100, which is not bad, and 10 attack. So 1100 and 10 attack seems actually very nice, very balanced um, for a Ventus. But if you like B power, this is not going to be the best. There's other um, Ventus Bakugan that could, you know, get higher numbers. But it's a nice one for sure. And I really like the art there. Looks really, really cool. Um, like I said, it's balanced because it will have like 10 attack if you land on that on that shield. So very, very balanced, it looks like. But here's the Bakugan itself. It looks very simple, but let's roll it onto a core and let's see how this opens up. There we go, right there. All right, let's see. It has a big magnet. I gotta mention that, look at that. It's a big, big magnet there. Maybe it can hold up like a bunch of cores, but let's see. Three, two, one, bro. Look at that. Very cool. Yes. This is why I like it because it's long. It's a long boy. Very, very nice. Look, you can see the little face right there. The eyes. Very, very cool. Yeah. These are like my type of Bakugan, like the long ones. That's why I like Fangzor and uh, Mantanoid as well. Um, yeah. Very, very nice. This is looking like it's going to be one of my favorites from Geogun Rising. I just really like the design. I like uh, how it is. It's I don't know. I think it looks cool. But what do you guys think? Leave it down in the comments. I want to know uh, your opinions on this one. And now here we have the last Bakugan in this starter pack. I mean, it's the main star of the starter pack. Chaos Demork Ultra. I mean, it, it looks really good. Look at that art. Looks amazing. Double shield, 200 B power, 4 attack. But it does have a small ability. Shield get plus 4 frost strike that could be insane the bad part is that the b power is very low and the attack is like low as well for the cores that it has i don't know it might have like a very nice evo because yeah this does not look good at all 200 b power is just very very low it had to have a good ability or a good evo for this to be good and i feel like there's gonna be an evo that's really good for this guy but the basic stats are they're just not it they're they're pretty bad so here's demark um yeah what can i say about this one it just looks so cool it looks really really cool and it's an ultra so you guys can see that it's like very very complex has a lot of moving parts 
the bakugan itself looks very very cool i mean there's nothing else i can say about it it just looks really cool i like the chaos colors on it and i'm pretty sure i saw that there is a um elemental it's like a darkest elemental so i'm gonna be looking for that but yeah i mean the bakugan just looks really nice the stats don't look that good but maybe like i said maybe there's like a very very good evo for this bakugan if not it would just be a waste it's the stats are just too low but yeah cool bakugan that's all i can say about this one okay so now to close this guy first you got to put the arms in like this then the legs up make sure you hold it like that then you put these little things in the head back all the way make sure you're holding everything together then you put this in and then the back part to seal everything up and there we go you should uh you should be able to close it yeah very complicated but i mean it is an ultra so let's see if it can do a little jump for us all right let's see oh, turn it this way all right three two one bro and <laughs> it just sprung up like this i'm not sure if it's supposed to you know do that or do some sort of jump but it kind of stayed like that which kind of looks fine to me i mean yeah very cool like i said i like the bakugan it's just that the stats they're too low all right guys so that's it for this opening of the chaos demorc ultra starter pack my favorite from the three bakugan here is has to be crystalion it is just a core and i think the design of it looks really cool I don't know why, but I just really like it. Um, the strongest out of the three, of course, it has to be Pinsator. I feel like that Bakugan is going to be a staple in damage decks. There's just no way you can't, like, you have to include Pinsator. 15 attack, that's crazy. But that's it for this video. Make sure you hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments which one of these three do you like the most. Also, if you think this starter pack is worth it, I think it is. But let me know in the comments. Subscribe and stay tuned for more Bakugan videos. Thanks for watching guys and peace out.